Welcome back to WGN TV Political Report. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky is a Democrat who has represented Illinois' 9th District for over 20 years. She's been focusing on the impact the virus has had on seniors in Illinois. The Congresswoman joins us via Zoom this morning. Congresswoman, appreciate your time as always. Let me just start by asking you, as we see these tremendous spikes in various states like Florida and Arizona, Illinois has gone up a little bit too as we've opened things up. What is your take on the success of, of Illinois handling things given that there's no federal program. Well, you hit the nail on the head. The fact that there's been a 100% failure of the federal government to do anything to help states, to help municipalities. But I'll tell you, one of the really disturbing things is that such a large number of the deaths are in nursing homes. Here in Illinois, about 55% of the deaths, even though there are a small number of the population are in nursing homes. That's the workers as well as the uh, as the residents. And that's true all over the country, this concentration of deaths in, in, in nursing homes. And we need help from the federal government to make sure that we get these strike teams out there that can help when there's a flare up, that we can get the PPE, the protective gear that the workers need to keep themselves safe and the testing um, is available everywhere and now that there's a spike those things are beginning to be in short supply once again congresswoman there were 60,000 new cases of coronavirus thursday in america the surge is driven by states in the south and the west uh, that were the first to ease the restrictions this spring is it inevitable that illinois is going to see another spike well, I hope not. I mean, we did see um, a thousand new cases yesterday, and that's larger than the average of in the, the mid 700s. Um, and so we certainly don't want to see a spike. I think by and large that we are both uh, the, the, the mayor of the city of Chicago, the governor of the state of, of Illinois, are observing carefully what is, is happening and have been very flexible in making sure that the guidelines meet what we need in order to see those numbers lowered. Unlike governors in many places and certainly the president pushing, pushing people and, and uh, states to open up regardless of the consequences, and we've seen what those consequences are. It's really, really disturbing. Does that, your concern extend to the education system? We talked earlier in the show about the push to get everything open, uh, including here in Illinois, but there's still a lot of concerns. What's your view? Well, there's a lot of concerns about opening uh, opening the schools, and um, Mayor Lightfoot made it very clear this is not the president's decision to make, um, even though he and Betsy DeVos have weighed in on the subject. Um, and so these really should be made at the local level. They should offer offer alternatives. But the uh, president is threatening to cut money, which only Congress has the authority to do that if schools don't open. And Betsy DeVos says, let's take that money, give it to parents so that they can pick the school that they want their children to go to. Another effort to privatize education in this country. Congresswoman, an average of 634,000 people were tested per day over the last week, but the nationwide target is 1.6 million uh, daily tests. Uh, who's to blame for America falling short of those tests? Oh, there's no question that the federal government should have taken responsibility from the start. We need, when it comes to the supply chain for PPE, for testing equipment, um, for what the hospitals need, whatever it is, that should have been done and coordinated at the federal level. But from the beginning, the president has said, it's not my responsibility. He has washed his hands of it. And it's just um, really, um, he has blood on his hands. I'm sorry to say that as bluntly, but that's what it is. With regard to the PPP, as data gets released, we see that a lot of connected people, powerful people got their share of the money uh, and, they, and people want to spend more. Again, what is your evaluation of how PPP has worked in keeping businesses going? Well, it has been interesting, and I'm very anxious to see the Sun-Times has 
done a good job to catalog who's really getting the money. And not too surprising, you're seeing people um, that have uh, m money. Jim Overstar, who is get, had got a, over $5 million um, for his ice cream uh, places, um, and people who have been connected, whereas a lot of small businesses still have been able, unable to access that money, which, by the way, there is still some PPP left for uh, Paycheck Protection Program is still still going just for another uh, couple of weeks, and businesses can uh, apply, but it's it's harder for these small businesses that don't have these sophisticated connections to banks, and those are the people that we really need to save. All right, Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, thanks for sharing your views with us. So much more time Thank we need pleasure. with you. We'll have you back, but right now we're going to take another break. Coming up next on the WGN TV.